5,000, guys. When you have a parade this big, Nicole, this historic, Calvin, you can't just have any old parade no. ambassador. You gotta have somebody tough, somebody big, somebody who can handle this. Some with size, like Dada 5000, we're talking 6'3", 260. Yeah. That's what he measures in at. But his even greater impact is his commitment to the young people here in South Florida. The world knows me by Dada 5000. It's a name that needs little introduction in South Florida and arguably beyond. Netflix, ESPN, EA Sports, Sun Sentinel, Miami Times, Washington Post, you name it, they've all come to the backyard, you know, to witness what they said was underground. Dada 5000, he the Don King of the backyard. Bare knuckle fighter Dafir Harris, better known as Dada 5000, has real reach. And we're not just talking in the ring. He took backyard brawling in his West Perrine neighborhood and turned it into a brand name. You may have seen him in action in the Billy Corbin documentary, Dogfight. Over 1.8 billion people around the world have seen this. You know, we got corporate America to come out, you know, of their office, trade their, trade their suits and ties in for baseball has and tennis shoes, and it changed everybody's lives. And that was something that they said could not be done. By all accounts, Dada is about beating the odds, and he's passionate about helping people in his community knock down their obstacles too. Well, you know, coming from the same streets, I can identify with not having, having to make do with what you got until you could do better. So now that I've actually got a good stern footing, you know, and I can do better, you know, I'm expected, you know what I'm saying, to do better. It's that progressive stance that led to Dada being named co-grand marshal of Miami-Dade County's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day Parade. And to be the grand marshal, it's phenomenal. And we're gonna raise the bar for other grand marshals after this event to follow. No doubt, Mr. 5000 sets high standards for himself and the young people he coaches. So you're working on your endurance. He assists with an after-school program connected to the Richmond Heights Perrine Optimist Club, training kids in mixed martial arts. It's the discipline because when they come inside, you know, of the gym, you know, they bow, right? They wasn't doing that on the streets, you know? And, and, and the techniques that they're learning, you know, is not meant to attack someone. It's the defense. And yeah, we started, you know, from the mean streets to Perrine, where they said, hey, listen, this is violence. No, it's not as an alternative towards violence. Just like Dr. King, Dada hopes his alternative will bring about opportunity and change his community. When you look at Martin Luther King Jr., right, who's a drum major, who's the voice for the people, especially back in those times, you know, his approach was different because he had to have a strong back and strong shoulders, you know, to carry the weight and the responsibility, you know, of the role that he played. And he does not shrink from the strength of his own influence. Once you get to a certain status, you have an obligation. And mine is, you know, to influence and bring the best out of the undeveloped minds that, you know, have yet to understand that you are somebody, that you do matter, you know, and that you are needed. It is that real focus on the young people that he comes around. That is why Dada 5000's reach is so much longer than what the tail of the tape tells you.